Hello again everybody, um, back today with the uh, BMW M3 convertible, 118 scale obviously. Uh, this model is made by Kyosho and I bought it for £90 in model zone. As ever I'll just give you a bit of background info on the car. It has a 4 litre V8 with, which produces 420 bhp. It has the FR layer which is the front engine rear wheel drive. And it has 0 to 60 times of 5.3 for the manual and 5.1 for the automatic it's produced between well 2007 and now but the original M3 was introduced in 1986 so it's been going over it's been produced for over 25 years which is very good for a, for a car like this anyway on to the model uh, as I said this is made by Kyosho and they obviously put very good quality into their models the uh, the front grille is replicated very well with the uh, as ever with traditional BMWs. The uh, lights are done very well with headlights and that. All the usual stuff with BMW M3 convertible on the bumper. There is mesh down there as you can see, but it's not metal; it is plastic. But at least it is there, not moulded plastic kind of with no holes in it the uh, BMW logo is done very well might be a bit difficult to see there we go yeah as I say that's done very well an exact replica and it's and it's moulded I think it's metal printed, printed onto metal and then glued onto the uh, bonnet so that is nice. Let's focus. Actually, on the bonnet, you do have two air intakes or coolant areas for the engine to cool down. And the bonnet is actually quite difficult to get to if you have no uh, nails. And you do not get a um, little opening thing with this model because you don't really need one actually. But that opens fairly easily, and you see the uh, BMW engine. Uh, it does have quite a lot of detail in it, but it is not made of metal. There are no metal parts in the engine. It's all moulded plastic. And you can see where the uh, fluid for the cleaning the windscreen, what, cleaning the windscreen would go. Let's close that. On the side, you get a uh, M3 logo. You're not going to be able to see that very easily. Uh, there we go, M3 with the uh, traditional colours before the M. And on the wheels, there's another BMW logo. As well as the discs there and the spokes, which look nice when they, uh, when they get spun. You do have workable steering at the uh, front of the car, as you can see. But the steering wheel doesn't actually turn that much. On the side, you can see the uh, wing mirrors with the uh, plastic in there as usual, which reflects the uh, image. And there's a little door handle where you actually can put one of Kyosho's opening things. I'll show you the interior when we have the uh, roof down because this is obviously the convertible so um, so you can get a better look in there here's the uh, where you fill the fuel in feed the fuel in, the fuel filler cap and at the back M3 it's quite a, because uh, of the silver it's quite difficult to see the logo there But yeah, the uh, third brake light is done nicely as well as the tail lights, they're done very nicely. And the chrome tipped exhausts. In the boot, it is quite spacious. You can't really see in there very well because it's quite, um, it's got quite a lot of black in there. But, um, if you're wondering what these are for, these are for the conversion of the roof when it goes down. But don't be put off by these because 
the actual 3 series does have this I've looked so that is quite true yeah. it, it has got felt in there as well so it's quite textured okay uh, <laughs> now's the uh, interesting part of the roof um, let's move that back originally the um, my roof had a problem it was fine for about the first half a year and then the uh, I'll show you what happened the um, there's a um, connection and that sort of broke off and so I had to I kept waiting and trying to look for a repair something that does repairs on these models and no one could actually do it so a few weeks ago I did it myself so <laughs> waited all that time for nothing really. but the conversion is it's relatively interesting first of all you take the top part Side back, and that's the uh, connection these two where it broke off and actually I'll just raise that for like that ok so you fold that back the bottom half comes up so it's a big folded metal piece and then you lift the boot up pull the uh, boot back and then just tuck it away in there it's very realistic and you just put these forward and close it so that is very realistic to the actual car show it sideways uh, yeah that is realistic and it looks very nice with the roof down so now I'll show you the interior so this is the passenger side and you see glove box aircon, all the usual bits and pieces. But there is a very nice detail that I will point out. The gear lever actually has the gears on it. They are extremely difficult to see. But it is there. Which is a very nice extra detail. Felt floor. Uh, these kind of plasticky seats sort of move backwards and forwards due to their mould CD player BMW's navigation system and the steering wheel with the uh, wheels real seat belts with a photo etched belt down there and on the uh, on the uh, door seals you get M3 with the uh, piece of plastic around it chrome so that's basically the, uh, the drivers and passenger side at the, at the back it's not very interesting really it's just a four seater convertible really but there is an interesting thing there is an armrest that you can actually uh, take out it is quite difficult to get but it is there and that just goes back up and that is sort of rubbery material about it for the uh, interior uh, I'll just show you the boot space now with the uh, roof down it's not very much you've got a little bit of room under there but that's it so I'll just put the roof back up just do what you did in reverse order but underneath I'll just show you quickly you can see uh, a little button there and I'll just show you the yeah that button when you uh, lift it up if you push it it does help you a little bit get into the actual get into the um, roof itself so just lift that up again and push these under 
take that. And that just sits on there. So that's basically the uh, M3 convertible. Uh, it is a very good model. If you, uh, I do highly recommend it. Apart from the, um, apart from the uh, little um, mechanical problem that I had with the, uh, sorry, just get the camera up. There we go. Sorry about that. There we go. Apart from the, um, yeah, as I said, the, the roof, that was um, a bit broken, but not to worry, that's fixed now, so it works perfectly fine. And, as I said, I do recommend this model. It is a very, very good model, especially with the uh, working roof, because not many models actually have that. They're all lift-off roofs. So that's basically this review. Uh, I'm not really sure what next. Uh, my display cabinet arrived finally after a long, long time. So I might do a video of that. But for now, this is in the uh, 118th BMW M3. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.